I'm reaching the limits here of my uh, my setup. You see the book is kind of outside the frame, but there's a reason for that. I'm trying to try to show you this book and it's uh, I don't know too big for my setup. I guess I guess I have to change it anyway. It's a, a compilation. It's an overview of uh, the work of German photographer Hans Christian Schink. And um, well, this is what this is. And so Hans Christian Schink is. Uh, looks like one of my favorite photographers and this is kind of uh, you know can you see that yeah you can sort of see most of it right maybe move this over a little bit all right so this is an overview of that photographer's work um, starting off with uh, this stuff which you might or might not find very interesting but it changes a little so don't, don't worry <coughs> This actually folds out, but then this is really beyond the limits of what I can show here, unfortunately. So you have that fold out, there's a third picture that kind of looks like that. It's a rather, here's another fold out, a, a rather lavish production. Uh, very beautifully printed. It's uh, a book done by a German publisher Hartje Kanz and it has a bunch of um, text, very good text. This is an essay by uh, Thomas Vesky, a very renowned German uh, curator. And then there's another series of photographs. Which I, you know, this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting for me. He's uh, scenes from uh, villages. Of course this looks, uh, I'm, I'm saying of course, what do I mean by that, but this looks very German, very German photography school. And more text, a little introduction to one of Schink's uh, most well-known, at least in Germany, most well-known photo projects, uh, centering on these newly built structures for, you know, the German autobahns after German reunification. So Schenk took photographs of all these things uh, before they were used, or while they were in construction. You can see that here. And this is some new train tracks for the ICE trains. You know, Germany invests heavily in and its infrastructure, uh, which is why, you know, if you go to Germany, the roads are in pretty good shape and everything, but of course it comes at a cost uh, financially. And of course, if you look at this also visually, there's another series here, LA, which I, I reviewed that book a little while ago on my blog. Uh, Schink spent some time in, in LA and photographed there. So I like this series very much too. I think that LA book might be sold out, or I, mean, I have to research this, but this book here is not sold out, it just came out. So if you're curious about this work, you can just buy this one. So this comes in two parts, there's you know these photographs and then there are these uh, photographs which are, you know, obviously investigating, you know, digital noise and grain and all that kind of stuff. So for each uh, series there's an introduction by somebody. Uh, this leads me to, this longer essay leads to Shink's travel photographs. And they are what, you know, what they are. Photographs of structures that, you know, tourists might take these kinds of photographs. Of course, tourists don't know how to do it that well. Tourists might not necessarily take these kinds of pictures. So you can see as you as you look through the book, you can see how um, you know the photographer expanded his view of what he was photographing, and 
he still you know applied his knowledge and skills you know his earlier skills to what he's doing so it's kind of an interesting way to to look at this a beautiful photograph and these makes me want to buy a large format camera when I travel because that would be kind of tedious and well I actually do have a large format camera I just never use it it's a different story Well, needless to say, this is not the pace which I would use to uh, go through these photographs when I look at the book, but I just want to give you uh, an impression of this book. I am going to review this book uh, one of these days on my blog too. Um, if you uh, remember the review I wrote about uh, Shing's One Hour on my blog, you might remember these photographs. So I'll post for an hour and when you do that with film then the very bright sun turns into this black line. These photographs are taken all over the world so the sun is in always in a, in a different spot and the landscape is different. the end of the photographs there's a oh, almost no well there's a uh, uh, an interview conversation with a photographer with some background and some earlier work um, which you definitely want to look at if you're interested in the evolution of this photographer some more photographs here I forgot what these are And an essay about Shing's work. Here again, yet more photographs. And I get something really German here. Typology, very good. And there's a list of plates. And I think there's a CV somewhere at the end. Yes, a bio. So that's about it. Um, Hans Christian Schenk. This is. Uh, in the frame, yes it is, a uh, fairly recent book by Hartje Kanz, I can only recommend it, I'm going to write a review about this book uh, maybe this Friday or the next Friday, in the meantime just look at the video. <laughs>